Before we get into my 52.4 mile challenge, let me start by saying this challenge is a modification of the 48 mile challenge from David Goggins. Every year I do this challenge where I run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. Yes, you heard that correctly. 48 miles with limited time for breaks, like sleep. To strengthen David Goggins' credibility, he's a former Navy SEAL and an ultramarathon runner who puts in 100 to 150 miles a week. Frankly, he's an overall badass. Now that you know about him and his challenge, I can tell you about what I'm planning to do. The reason why I'm running 52.4 instead of the 48 that Goggins does, I want to say that I ran two marathons worth of distance within two days. Ever since I was little, I've always been overweight and morbidly obese. You say morbidly obese, people take offense to it. It's a fact, your BMI is over a certain amount, you are obese. Over the course of two years, I've lost over 140 pounds. After I got married and inherited two amazing children, I realized if I kept going the way I was going, that I wouldn't see my grandkids and I wouldn't see my kids do things that um, most parents get to do. So my wife, my kids were really the motivation for me to losing a lot of weight and started my exercising journey. Today consists of prepping food for the two days, prepping my equipment, basically just resting and relaxing because the next two days are gonna be they're gonna be tough, they're gonna be rough. During the 48 hours, I'm going to be running with my friend Chris. He was the person I ran my first half marathon with. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready for this one. It's everyone after this, <laughs> the next 11. We have designated that the 12 o'clock hour is going to be runs with each other. And then we're gonna run the last run at 8 a.m. on Friday, which is my late father's birthday. He didn't really take care of himself as best as he should have and could have. I just want to prove that I can do it. 52.4 miles. Insane. Five miles in. Going home and rest, relax, get ready for the next one. Triple digits for the valleys and wood empire high deserts, mountains in the 80s. And I is getting up to 95, Burbank 90, where to start off the week, we were in the 80s. It was hot. I finished a full bottle of water on the run. It was just real slow. Just felt like I was running in concrete. I was listening to Goggins' book. One of the quotes I really liked is, you don't quit because you're tired, you quit because you're done. Here we go. Lap number two is done. I did 4.4. Get something to drink, rinse off, change my clothes, take a nap, do it again at eight. It's about 7.30. I started getting a headache. I realized that uh, I wasn't getting as much water as I should. So during this last four hours, I've been drinking a lot of water and I've been using this stuff that my friend Stephanie suggested to me from Goo. It's basically salt, it's sodium. You put it into water, you drink it, it helps retain water. This is, this is my friend Lynn. She's going to be running with me at eight o'clock. Hi guys. <laughs> so how do you feel about running four miles? I feel good about it. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm shocked that I can do that. I started running during quarantine and I had no idea that I could do it and I can't. <laughs> Lap number three, done. I liked running at eight with Lynn. That was fun. I just feel energized. I, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, compared to 12 and four, Literal night and day difference. I'm going to eat some food. I'm going to maybe lay down on the couch, elevate my legs, ice, and then run at midnight with Chris. What's up, 11.30? All right there, that's Mount Whitney. It's a constant reminder that I can do things that I put my mind to. In 2015, I climbed Mount Whitney. I was probably, before now, the best shape of my life. I was at 2.50. Took a 40 pound pack and day climbed and camped for four days, getting to the top of Whitney with some friends. And at the time I was like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to lose weight. I'm gonna continue to hike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep being better. Well, that wasn't the case, but I bought this medium sized shirt 
because I thought I am going to fit into that shirt. <sighs> Midnight run. Right, it's been 12 hours. Yeah, I know. How crazy is that? Yeah. Lot four broke the 18 mile marker. No one is out and it's awesome. Lap five, five miles, done. All across the area, you can see, now we're getting into the 90s image for the valleys, 105. You gotta hydrate. Eight o'clock run, here come. 15 minutes early, just wanna get this done. Four miles down, a little slower than 10 minute miles, but I'm not quitting. I gotta run one five miler still. The rest are all fours. Never thought I'd be running in a hundred degree heat. It's more of a dry seat. It was a tough one. I, I actually walked a little bit. Uh, probably, I don't know, a tenth, maybe, tenth of a mile or so. We tried to pick a path that is well shaded normally. That didn't even help. I'm gonna run five on the treadmill at four o'clock because I'm sure it's gonna be just as hot. Uh, even though Chris called me a cheater. I got a little blister, but my wife helped me out. See, check that out. Since I'm rotating shoes, it's not too bad. I'm kind of torn, because I kind of want to go outside and do it, but uh, at the same time, I, 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 I'd like to run on the trip at least once. Lap eight is complete. Besides the blister and, you know, a little bit of soreness in my legs, everything's been pretty solid. A couple more laps and we're going to go and we'll meet up with Drew. Would you ever try this? I would. Yeah? Yeah, I would. Uh, I've never run further than a 5K since high school. Uh, so again, I'm up to the task to try and keep up with JJ. My blister is getting a little bigger. The way I have it protected, it doesn't hurt. Uh, I'll be able to get through midnight, four and eight. 12 more miles. That's it. I'm almost into single digits. After the eight o'clock run, I don't know why. I just had no motivation to eat. Um, hopefully that'll change after this one. Good evening. Good evening. Did you sleep well? Did you sleep at all? hours the alarm went off and I uh, what time is it did I miss it how are you feeling I'm tired midnight run is done I just kept my eyes on that center line keeping a solid pace the entire time it felt good my calves were a little tight but I was able to stretched them out before the run and it worked out real well. I got some some food, got an egg and an apple and a banana, and uh, I'm gonna eat a little bit, ice and ease, elevate, hopefully get an hour or two of sleep. 3.30, one last run by myself, and then I run with Chris at eight o'clock. You have to be a little bit crazy to want to do this. Something about pushing your limits. One more mile. I'm done with lap 11. And I also just realized that I've ran 48 miles in less than 48 hours. That's an accomplishment that I never thought I'd ever be able to do. I remember growing up having to do that timed mile in gym class and getting 13 and 14 minute, minute miles. And at that time, I mean, in retrospect, it wasn't the slowest. By the time I was in eighth grade, my dad and I uh, kind of had a pack that after work, I would run a mile and he would try to walk one lap around. This is his, one of his old bandanas. Almost all of the bandanas I own are all of his. A little sore, a little slow this morning. Uh, a little worn out. So nice. now it's just the last four. About halfway. The last lap. Feeling good. Last mile. Stay strong. We can do it. Woo! Oh. 
52.4 in less than 48 hours. So, Chris, would you ever do this again? Maybe. Like, that was the hardest part is, like, pacing each four-hour run. Right. Like, okay, I still got a lot to go. Yep. Am I going to recover? Well, now I know I can run a marathon. Yeah, man, I'm proud of you. Thanks. You got a lot Thanks. of bottom. A lot of bottom. <laughs> More bottom than me. <sighs> the nap that I'm going to take and the cake that I'm going to eat I'm going to devour it. I'm coming for you, cake. 52.4 miles. And like I said, I'm gonna eat some cake. I deserve every bite of this. Oh, that's so very good. Get your cake.